Growing up, Batman was an iconic figure in my childhood. And today, we're going to talk about two sets of Batman equipment that just rocked when I was a kid. So, see you guys inside as we take a look at two Batmobiles and two Batwings. Check it out. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said, we are taking a look at Batman's equipment from specific times in the early late 80s, early 90s. Specifically, the 1989 Batman movie and the Batman animated series. Two things that were very iconic when I was growing up and just looked awesome. Um, kind of one of those things, they hold a special place in my heart, especially the animated series. I don't know how many times I hope the bus would get home at 3.30 and I could get off that bus, get inside and watch the Batman animated series on TV because you know, I was a kid. I was hooked on it. And it was just a great thing. And when you look at that, you don't see the iconic figures anymore. Especially when you look back at like the resurgence of Michael Keaton coming back to Batman. I mean, wow, that's awesome. And it's one of those things I want to share with you guys a couple models, no keyword models, these are not toys, that I printed and I just kind of fell in love with because it brings back a segment of my life that was just a lot of fun. And as I said, we're taking a look at two Batmobiles, specifically the 1989 Hotness, along with the very oddly shot down with one bullet Batwing, but had a lot of cool tools to the iconic Batman animated series, long, sleek, overpowered Batmobile car, and just the sleek Hotness Batwing. So that's what we're going to print today. And how do we do this usually? Well, we're going to go find them on the internet. We're going to go through Cure and get them sliced. We're going to time lapse it so you can see me printing it on the printer and see how I did it. And then we're going to come back here and have a look at the final product. So if you guys are new here, make sure to catch us every Tuesday night at 8.15 Central Standard Time. We are streaming for about an hour and a half. All kinds of stuff. It may be me fixing a printer, maybe me working on one of these models. I got a lot behind me to work on. So, you know, Always going to have a stream. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Um, it does help us out. You get notifications every time a new video comes out. A new one comes out every Friday. Whether it's a printer upgrade, a time lapse thing, printer review, who knows what we're doing, but we're talking about 3D printing. So definitely stick around and join us. And if you have any questions about 3D printing, I don't care what it is, comments, let me know that question. And we'll definitely try to get you helped out. Or over on the community page is my email. Feel free to shoot me an email and I will try to get back to you. So with that and further ado, let's hop over and let's get these things off the internet so you can know where to find the models and then let's get them printed. So let's hop over there. All right guys, so here we are at Thingiverse. So the Batman journey begins. And a lot of times what I say with this too is you don't have to recreate the wheel to go find a cool model that you're wanting to put in your in your shelves and stuff like that. So one of the things you can do is always go out to Thingiverse, Geggy.com, Cults3D, My Mini Factory. There are tons of sites to search for models. And just happenstance today, everything we're doing is on Thingiverse. And as you can see in front of you, the first model that I'm going to talk about is the Batman's Batmobile, the 1989 by Lentz. This model was superb. I had to do a bit of smoothing along the fenders here. But once that was done, it really had good angles and was a really good clean model. So definitely one I recommend you download um, if you're wanting to have some cool Batman stuff on your shelf. So that's the first model. Now, the animated series. My second favorite. Love this car. Great model. Really good build. Um, some detail could be stepped up. I love that it is almost like a derby car really good files and really good print really simple to print and you can do with pretty much any printer out there with ender 3 or the cr10s like you'll see me do so next the 1989 batwing by dsk001 this model is actually really clean it's in two pieces the peg is just the right size it went together really easy and i didn't have a hard time with the seam lines so it is a great model out there and of course if you guys are looking for these models that i'm talking about check down in that description because that's where they're going to be links to all of them are out there then the final one is the batwing from the animated series this guy is a fun little print and a lot of fun so 
those are the four models that we're talking about Thingiverse today. I'm only going to slice two of them, okay? That's so, and the only reason why I'm going to slice two is this video would go on for an hour if I sliced all four and talked about it. So I'm going to talk about the hardest two, the Batwing and the 1989 Batmobile. I'm going to show you the way that I printed it that worked best for me after a couple iterations, and we'll talk about why. So let's hop over to Kira, and let's get these guys sliced. All right, so we are in Kira uh, 4.13.1. So I haven't gotten a notification that there's an updated version, but I am on my MacBook and there very well could be. So looking at this, you guys can see it laid the model flat. And if you try to do that, look at all that support you're gonna have to generate. We don't wanna do that. So the way that I printed this model that worked for me was I rotated it this way. If I can get it straight, there we go. And then what I did was the usual tool, custom supports, along with uh, coming in with the auto-generated supports, you can actually do quite a bit to support this model, have very little support, and get a beautiful model. So let's add in these custom supports. But before I do that, what do we always do on this channel? We make it bigger. You guys can see the, especially like here I commented, I had to sand to make that look smooth. It's not a big deal. So, but you can see there's a lot of supporting needed here. And that's where this plug-in custom supports can come in real handy, especially on these fin pieces. I want them to be, I want their points to come out. So I will add my custom supports, these lights, these nozzles, uh, that will come out okay probably and just kind of get these points very well supported then also I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple here to just give more contact point to the build plate because we're going long and narrow so more contact to the plate means a lot less chance of ripping away from the plate and seeing a narrow model like this I'm gonna scroll down to uh, build plate uh, support 80% is fine, but I'm going to come down here to build plate adhesion. I'm going to up my raft. Now, why am I going to up my raft? Five is probably fine, but if you up it to 10, that's more connection to the build plate. And like I said, we're going tall and narrow. So there is the opportunity for the model to have nozzle drag or something and get a wobble, and then you got to mess up, you got to shift, you got to fail, you get a bunch of spaghetti. We don't want that. So, um, it's your choice to put that out. I would put mine out to 10 just to have a little bit more adhesion to the build plate. But all in all, the support's going to come out just fine. Now looking at this, this bothers me a little bit. These vents, whoa, these vents right here bother me. Because they look like they're actually going to need some support. So when it comes to the actual auto-generate support, I'm going to drop that down to 70 so we get a little bit more support. And you can see, oops. I just clicked a piece on there and you can see it actually started turning under layers here red which is a good thing that means they're gonna get supported they actually did need the support so that's a great thing so auto generate will fill in especially in these areas like right here that will need a little bit of support auto generate will take care of that for us so awesome model love the look printed it looked great you guys will see the final prints here at painted here towards further than the video so stick around for that and remember if you're new here hit that subscribe button join the crew as we go through and do more of this stuff but let's hop over to the batwing and we're doing the batwing from the animated series because uh, that was the harder one to print so i'm going to delete that off and i'm going to bring that model in we're going to let that load up now one of the things about this model when it loaded up he <laughs> a b so like usual on this channel we grab him, we'll grab over here, we'll scale him up 2,000%. Why not, right? We don't lose a lot of detail. He comes up a lot bigger. And how did I print this one, you say? Well, honestly, I did the same thing I did as the Batmobile. I rotated it, I stood it upright, and then I custom supported it. 
You guys can see the areas where the custom supports needed. This is still at 70% auto generate support. For this one, I actually recommend kicking down to 50 so you get some good support lines all through here and definitely in here too where that point is touching the build plate. Uh, the custom supports are definitely going to be your buddies and making sure that gets built, that gets built, and that builds up. And also, I would anywhere there's a point down here, I would just custom support it. Just to make sure we get a lot of build plate. And actually, on these curves, I'll even come out with custom supports because that's going to enlarge and that's going to make the raft larger, more build plate adhesion. Yes, please. And honestly, it's not going to leave enough marks that it's going to be a problem when you pop them off because these custom supports come off really easy. And there you go. So, coupled with the auto generate support, that model is going to look really nice. So these are just two of them. There's others that, you know, we did four. The Batmobile animated version, that's in multiple pieces, which makes it really easy to print. It's in three, cut into three sections. Makes it really easy to put on the build plate and to print for that too. Now, the animated Batmobile, on the wheels, there is a button. I think it's this one? No. This mirror button. When you put four wheels on there, select two of them and hit mirror. That way it will actually screw onto the axle properly. So keep that in mind as you do this with the animated one that we showed and have links down in the descriptions for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this bit. We're going to hop over to the time lapses. If you have any questions, make sure to put that down in the comments down below so I can help you out. And also, you know, hit that like button for me. It does help out the channel. It helps get the video out there more. And, we all love Batman. We all want to print Batman. So definitely help me out there with that. So let's hop over. Let's check out those time lapses, see the final products, and I will see you guys on the other side of the video. All right, guys, that's the models. You just saw the close-ups. I enjoyed this job. I enjoyed this print job. It brought back a lot of good memories, a lot of fun times, the toys, because I remember having the Matchbox car, I may still have it, actually, of this old-style Batmobile, and just 
the iconicness of the animated series just always rings with me. Um, even when I see just randomly something pop up or a new animated movie coming out, I'm hoping they're going back to that old style, but you never know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you were new here and you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button, join the crew so you know when we're doing new stuff because we do it every week. And with that, I say see you guys in the next video.